Hi, my name is Georgia King and I am a reading interventionist with Literacy Now. And today I'm going to share with you some ways to help your child blend or sound out words. There are four skills needed for this to occur. The first one is the child, your child must know the names of the letters of the alphabet and your child must know the sounds of the letters of the alphabet. And then here comes the third one that we're going to talk about today and that is your child must be able to blend or combine those sounds to actually be able to read the word. The last thing that is needed is an age-appropriate vocabulary because if your child doesn't know enough words to be able to latch on to a meaning of the sounds, it makes it even more difficult for them to read the word. Now, of course, as we know, the best way to increase your child's vocabulary is for you to read aloud to them. That's the way they can find words that are not in their narrow life or but can reach out to other parts of the world and gain that needed vocabulary. So to illustrate my, um, my example um, is to, is uh, in my reading group at sc in my school, the children came upon the word t -a -n, tan. Well, they did not know what tan meant. They didn't, had not, they were not familiar with the color tan. And so we exp explained that it was the color of um, wood, maybe the color of cardboard, somebody's pants might be tan. And then one little girl said, oh, Miss King, your hair is tan. So that's just an example of why a very sufficient vocabulary is needed. Now, the alphabet is made up of vowels and consonants. Now, here are the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, and every word has a vowel. In fact, some words are just vowels, such as the word I and the word A. So, that is important to know, and then the Consonants are all the other letters. So, now, we're about to get started, but before we do, I just want to say that you do not need a fancy magnetic board to do this activity with your child. I just happen to have this in all my school stuff, so I thought it would be good for this video. But you don't have to. Look, somebody here made little letters on bottle tops. So that, you know, if you had bottle tops, this would <clears throat> be a fun activity actually for your child to do to write all the letters on it and then you all could manipulate them as you went through your practice. Now, now this part is a little trickier because we're going to be practicing blends, but it's very doable with a little practice. Now, a blend is when you have two consonants, like SL, but you do hear both of those sounds, and it's important that the child says both sounds, or they won't be able to read the word correctly. So, with SL, you have SL, SL. Now, we're going to add the vowel and the ending sound, and now we're going to blend it. Slip, slip. Let's do another. Let's try our vowel A and we'll get our T, our F, and we have 
flat. You got to say each of those sounds to say the word correctly, flat. This is something that the children do need to practice. And the next one, we'll do our vowel E. And we'll try this one. Let's do S, T, E, P. And we've got st, ep, step. Saying all, both of the consonants. Now we can do I. Take those down. And we need S, W, I, M. S, M. Notice that W sound. S, w, M. It's really, again, S, it's only just air. You don't want to go S, W, M. And here is one that can be tricky for the kids, so we'll do it. It's the B, R, A, G. Now, brag. You got to say both sounds. B, R, A, G, brag. So that's how you would blend that consonant blend. Okay, I'm going to just take this B off and I'm going to put the D because I want you to hear this, that the DR does have two sounds. Many people can't hear that, including some teachers I've worked with had questions about it. So let's talk about that. Listen to the sound of D, R, AG. Drag. You hear all, both of these blends. You hear those consonants. Okay, and one more. And we have t -r -am, tram. And I explained to the children that a tram is like a small train that runs through a city. Now, let's do some blends at the end of words in case that gets a little tricky. You have M, I, L, K. Now, here's the blend at the end, the L, K. Now, let's blend it. M, L, K. You hear the sounds and you got to say them. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. A word that the boys and girls know because it's a high frequency word, but it, you also can sound it out. And you hear that ND. And I have one more with the E, F. This end, the T, and an L. Left. Left. And that is the end of our time together. And I thank you for tuning in. And good reading.